Welcome, Ben Mama. Hello everybody, Kieran aka The Laird here and I'm back with another uh, modern retro um, video for you and uh, this time we're going to be going way back because as you can see this is an Xbox 360 game um, but one that happens to be backwards compatible with uh, Xbox One which is what I'm playing on here and um, there's quite a few of these Sega vintage collections um, as you may know that's a bit loud um, but this one, the Monster World Collection, is particularly interesting um, because whereas a lot of these vintage collections are Mega Drive games, as you probably know, and there is the, an amazing uh, Mega Drive collection for the Xbox One, um, which pretty much has all of those on it, kind of making it um, obsolete in many ways. Um, this one is slightly different. Uh, we, have, we have Monster World 4 there. We have Wonder Boy in Monster World and Wonder Boy in Monster Land, which is obviously the arcade game. Um, so that's that's different in the fact that that's not a Mega Drive game. So we've got two the two Wonder Boy Mega Drive games there, and um, yeah, Wonder Boy in Monster Land, which is kind of worth it to get it on this because this isn't on the um, the the Mega Drive collection, of course. So we just have the selection of those three. Um, it's a shame they didn't put the original Wonder Boy on it. I'm not sure why they didn't. It's, it does seem strange because I would have thought, you know, if they put the arcade version of that on, you would have th would have thought they would have put the original uh, Wonder Boy arcade game on there, or even the Master System version would have been fine. But um, it seems strange to have not put Wonder Boy on here anyway. Um, but that's that's the reason why I wanted to look at this specifically because it probably some people probably don't realise this is actually has an arcade game on it rather than just being all. Mega Drive or Genesis for you Americans on it. So we go to that, we've got start game, we've got leaderboards, replay, achievements, uh, help and options. Let's go into there, so controls. Okay, it's easy enough. Game settings. So we've, we've got English or Japanese versions. We've got our usual difficulties. Well, we've already got hard or normal. Starting life heart count, put up to five additional life hearts, normal hard. Uh, back. Screens, you've got your normal options in terms of making it bigger or larger, changing the aspect ratio, adding scan lines or smoothing. Whoa. Smoothing is literally the worst thing in the world. I think I hate smoothing so much. I think it's one of the worst things that anyone's ever done with um, retro games is add smoothing. Um, horrible, horrible thing. Uh, we've got some other settings in terms of saving and sound and stuff. Uh, credits, obviously, who developed it. Uh, a jukebox, you can go and, and, and select all the music, uh, which is quite cool as well. I'll go back there. We don't want to listen to that. I just wanted to show you it. So actually, there's actually a lot of options, probably a lot more than you would have thought it would have had, um, to be honest. So there we go. for how to play um, trying to use the analog stick to go through the options so it's really twitchy if you use the joypad it's absolutely fine which is strange so local mode yep that's what we want so there we go I can't remember which buttons insert coin is it that one oh, it's one of the it's left left button there we go and push start. So there's a naked Wonder Boy. We've got some gold because he starts naked with nothing to use. And then we knock on the shop door, and there we go. He tells us what we've got to do. And he should give us some stuff as well. There we go. Take the sword of medicine. So now I can jab people. So obviously this was the second Wonder Boy game, and although it's still mostly a platformer, um, like the previous one, this was the first one to add some very RPG light elements. Um, 
like putting in shops, putting in inventory, um, different abilities, stuff like that. So I don't want a cocktail or a beer, thank you very much. So I'm gonna leave that. Thank you. bro as the kids would say gave me lots of stuff I oh, got me that time to get there we go that's the first stage done so yeah brilliant to have um, a really nice version of, of Wonder Woman Monsterland on here, which um, I always say is underrated. I've said it already and I'll say it again. And actually, my recent um, greatest smart system games of all time that I did on the channel, I was really pleased to see it rated so highly because everyone talks about Wonder Boy 3. Um, and I was, you know, I don't think people talk about Wonder Boy Monsterland enough, and I did worry that a lot of people would not mention um, Wonder Boy Monsterland. But they did, so that was really good. So I'm going to cocktail or a beer. Oh, I don't have enough. Let's get a beer. There we go. That gave me some health back. There we go. Um, I want to exit because I don't want to just be playing this like forever. Now exit, return to main menu. So I will show you another game since while we're here, because we're on these. There we go, Wonder Boy in Monster World. As you can see what the uh, emulation stuff on here is like. Okay, can I skip this? You can't. Doesn't seem to be a way to make it uh, skip any faster, which is quite kind of annoying. Let's come out our door. There we go. So obviously you see in this, the, the RPG elements are now uh, much more pronounced. Um, if you're still having a similar system in terms of the inventory and uh, life bar and weapons and stuff like that. Um, he gives me some stuff. Thank you very much. Um, but there's a lot more talking to characters, um, entering locations. Obviously, it's interesting to see the differences. last had a visitor well how have you stayed in business then if you're a shop and you've had not had a visitor for years then I don't understand who stayed in business surely your shop would have gone bust and you would have starved to death wouldn't you you know cool I don't have I don't have uh, 30 coins so 
there we go. I'm going to go out because uh, this is a slow game to play, as you can see. And then we've got one more to look at, which is Monster World 4 there. I'll show you this one as well. As you can see it all. Oh. skip the uh, intro there we go so now we'll see where we go so that's quite different very nice parallax scrolling effects there so this one plays a lot like the last one to be honest um, similar system with the, the more RPG like elements along with the platforming and uh, once again a, a visually beautiful game Great music and stuff as well. And even more visually beautiful than the other one, I think. Really good. But obviously the same where we're going into different locations. In this case, we've gone downstairs. There we go and talk to another character. Uh, so yeah, three Wonder Boy games. They could have put more on it, because I mentioned they could have put the original Wonder Boy on it. And also, it's also strange, they didn't put Wonder Boy 3 for the Mega Drive on it. Um, obviously, which is based on the Wonder Boy 3 arcade game. Um, which is actually my favourite Wonder Boy game because Wonder Boy 3 with it being an arcade game um, wasn't a kind of RPG light like this and uh, Monster World was and uh, they are it, it's, it's more of a straight arcade game in fact what I love about Wonder Boy 3 is it has your platforming stages which are more like a kind of run and gun in a way because you can shoot um, and then you have the um, the actual pure shoot em up stages, which are horizontally shoot em up, uh, where you get to fight the bosses and stuff. So, yeah. Um, there we go. So, yeah, that's it, really. I'll float down here and then uh, we'll sum it up. So, yeah, that's, that's the. Uh, the Monster World Collection, um, Xbox 360, but backwards compatible with Xbox One, which is great to see. Um, and it's obviously has the big advantage of having uh, stuff that isn't on the um, the recent, fairly recent anyway, Mega Drive Collection, which I will look at at some point because a lot of people have asked me to ask me to look at that. But that'll be a more in-depth video. But um, for now, um, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this look at uh, the Monster World Collection from Sega. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, I've been the Laird and I'll see you all again for another video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.